Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This video is about the quadratic equations and uh, the solutions for 4.2 exercise from that chapter. And we have the first uh, question here. Find the roots of the following quadratic equations by factorization. And the first question is x square minus 3x minus 10 equal to 0. So x square minus 3x minus 10 equal to 0. This is what given for us. Now we need to find out the roots of this quadratic equation. What is meant by roots? Roots means the value of x and if you substitute we have to find out the value of x and if you substitute that value here we are going to get we have to get 0. So that's the roots and uh, which you have already done in the polynomials right so same thing we have to do in this case also let us start <coughs> and uh, we have to find out by factorization method so what we are going to do we are going to split the middle term that is minus 3x how do we do that we have if you multiply minus 10 and x square so we will get minus 10 x square and if we add or subtract we have to get minus 3x so that is the middle term. So we have to split it and it is 5 to are 10. So 5x and 2x that is 10x square. And now the middle term has minus. So the bigger number should get minus. And if we substitute these things x square minus 5x plus 2x minus 10 equal to 0. We will group the terms. And from the first group x is the common factor so if you take out x it will be x minus 5 inside the bracket plus and in the second uh, group 2 is a common factor so it will be x minus 5 and in these whole thing x minus 5 is the common factor and the left out is x plus 2 equal to 0 therefore x minus 5 equal to 0 or x plus 2 equal to 0 now this will be x is equal to 5 it is plus 5 and here x is equal to minus 2 and these are the roots of the given quadratic equation and let us check out whether we have done it correctly or not so what we are going to do we have we are supposed to substitute these two values in a given quadratic equation and find out whether they will be equated to the RHS that is 0. So let us take the first value that is x is equal to 5. So we have 5 square minus 3 into 5 minus 10 equal to 0. 5 square is 25. 5 3 is 15 minus 10 equal to 0. Now if we add these two, you are free to add however you want to. So this will be minus 15 minus 10 is equal to 25 minus 25. So minus 25 plus 25 equal to 0. So LHS is equal to RHS. And our answer is correct. Now we will go for the second one that is x is equal to minus 2. And we will substitute the same thing uh, in the same equation. If we substitute, we will get minus 2 whole square minus 3 into minus 2 minus 10 equal to 0 and this will be 4 minus no plus 6 minus 10 equal to 0 this is 10 minus 10 equal to 0 so 0 is equal to 0 so our quadratic equation has got the two roots that is 5 and minus 2 let us go for the second one what they have given for us in the second one is 2x square plus 6 minus uh, minus plus x minus 6 equal to 0. Okay. Let us start. Let us rewrite this. So 2x square plus 6 minus plus x minus 6 equal to 0. And if you multiply these two, we will get minus 12x square. So... Now, if we split the middle term, that is x, we will have 4, 3 is 12. 
and it is plus 6 so plus 4x minus 3x so 4 minus 3 will be 1x and which is the middle term so let us uh, split the middle term by substituting 4x and minus 3x in the place of x plus 4x minus 3x minus 6 equal to 0 if we group the terms like this the common factor in this case is 2x 2x into x plus 2 and the next one 3 into x plus 2 so 3 is the common factor so we have taken out 3 now the common factor in this case is my uh, x plus 2 so 2x minus 3 is one factor and the other factor is x plus 2 equal to 0 therefore 2x minus 3 equal to 0 or x plus 2 equal to 0 now 2x is equal to 3 x is equal to 3 by 2 so this is our one root or x is equal to minus 2 this is the other root and let us find out whether our answers are correct or wrong let us take this 2x square plus x minus 6 equal to 0 substituting x is equal to 3 by 2 in this case so 2 into 3 by 2 whole square plus 3 by 2 minus 6 equal to 0 now 2 into 3 square is nothing but 9 by 2 square is 4 plus 3 by 2 minus 6 equal to 0 and if you simplify this 2 ones are 2 twos are so 9 by 2 plus 3 by 2 minus 6 equal to 0 and LCM is 2 so we'll get 9 plus 3 minus 12 equal to 0 and if you simplify we'll get 12 minus 12 by 2 equal to 0 so this will be 0 equal to 0 12 minus 12 is 0 0 by 2 is 0 so 0 is equal to 0 and our answer is correct x is equal to 3 by 2 is one of the roots and we will go for the next one that is x is equal to minus 2 if it is minus 2 then are we going to get 0 equal to 0 LHS equal to RHS so let us check so x is equal to minus 2 and we will substitute that 2 into minus 2 whole square plus of minus 2 minus 6 equal to 0 2 into 4 right 2 square minus 2 square is 4 minus 2 minus 6 equal to 0 this is 8 minus 2 minus 6 equal to 0 8 minus 8 equal to 0 it is your choice however you are adding you are simplifying it is left to you so 0 equal to 0 so and the answer is correct so these are the two roots of the given quadratic equation and we will go for the next one third one third one is a bit tricky <coughs> let us check out that so we have here root 2 x square minus 7x plus 5 root 2 okay and we'll try to do this we if you multiply the last two terms we are going to get what we are going to get so it is root 2 x square into 5 root 2 what we are supposed to multiply root 2 into root 2 will be equal to 2 right if you multiply and it is 10 x square so plus 10 x square is the a term that we are supposed to um, find out the factors of it if we find the factors and we have minus 7x so we should get minus 7x uh, no this is plus 7x plus plus 7x we should get so it is 5 into 2 5x and 2x so it will be plus 5x plus 2x these are the two factors of the middle uh, two terms of the middle term which we are supposed to split so root 2 x square plus 5 x plus 2 x plus 5 root 2 equal to 0 
<coughs> now the common factor in the uh, in the first two terms will be x and we are left with root 2x plus 5 and in the second group the common factor is root 2 and if we take out root 2 root 2 will be left out here uh, 2 is there from this if we take out uh, root 2 we will be left of it root 2 inside the bracket and it is x plus root 2 we have taken out already will be 5 is equal to 0 and it is x plus root 2 into root 2 x plus 5 equal to 0. Therefore, x plus root 2 equal to 0 or root 2 x plus 5 equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus root 2 or root 2 x is equal to minus 5. Therefore, x will be equal to minus 5 by root 2. This is the second factor, the root. Now, the first one is x is equal to minus root 2. We will substitute this in the uh, given equation. We will get root 2 into minus root 2 whole square plus 7 into minus root 2 plus 5 root 2 equal to 0. Now, this will be root 2 into this is 2 plus 2, right? Minus 7, sorry, this is minus 7 root 2 plus 5 root 2 equal to 0. Now, we have 2 root 2 plus 5 root 2 that will be equal to 7 root 2 minus 7 root 2 equal to 0. So, 0 equal to 0. Our first root is the correct answer. Now, we will go for the next one that is <coughs> x is equal to minus 5 root 2. When we got this minus 5 root 2 then are we correct? So, we have here x is equal to minus 5 root 2. Let us substitute that. x is equal to minus 5 root 2. 5 by root 2. So, root 2 into minus 5 by root 2 whole square plus 7 into minus, uh, sorry, this is minus 5 by root 2 plus 5 root 2 equal to 0. Now, we have root 2 in, into, uh, this is minus, so I will take it minus here, no sorry, plus. Uh, minus 5 whole square will be 25 plus 25 by root 2 whole square is 2 and then minus this is 7 5 is a 35 by root 2 plus 5 root 2 equal to 0 and we will get here uh, root 2 uh, root 2 and by 2 will be 25 by root 2 minus 35 by root 2 plus 5 root 2 equal to 0. Now, uh, LCM here is uh, root 2. So, if we take out LCM root 2, we will get 25 minus 35 and this will be 5 into root 2 into root 2 equal to 0. And then this will be 25 25 minus 35 and this will be equal to plus 10. 5 into 2 2 is uh, uh, root 2 into root 2 is 2. So, 5 into 2 is 10 by root 2 equal to 0. Now, if we cross multiply root 2 into 0 is 0 and if we add and subtract this we will get 0 equal to 0. So, our answer is correct. That is x is equal to minus root 5 by 2 or uh, minus 5 by root 2 is the correct answer. Now we will go for the next one that is the fourth one in the first main. It is <coughs> what we have 
is 2x square minus x plus 1 by 8 equal to 0. This is what we have. Now, if we uh, want, uh, if you don't want this 1 by 8 or if you want to keep it as it is, it's left to our choice. But I feel like we, if we have the whole numbers in each term, then it will be easy for us. So, let me multiply the whole thing with 8. Now, what we will get, we will get uh, 16x square minus 8x plus 1, right? 1 by 8 into 8 is equal to 1, right? So, we will get that and that will be equal to 0. Now, we have the last two terms here, 16x square into 1 is 16x square plus. And if we add or subtract, we have to get the middle term that is minus, uh, minus 8x, not minus x, minus 8x. And it is minus 4x minus 4x, isn't it? Now? So 16, if you multiply these two, we we'll get 16x square and it is plus. And if we add them, we we'll get minus 8x. So we are having 16x square minus 4x minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0. And if we group the terms like this, the first group uh, will have 4x as common term and we are left with 4x minus 1. And this is 4x minus 1 equal to 0. Minus 1 is common if we take out, we get 4x minus 1. So we are having 4x minus 1 into 4x minus 1 equal to 0. Now, 4x minus 1 equal to 0 or 4x minus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, 4x is equal to 1 or 4x equal to 1. x is equal to 1 by 4 or x is equal to 1 by 4. So, they are the same roots. And we will try whether the answer is correct or wrong by substituting the values in the equation. So, let us substitute this in this equation. So, that is 16 x square minus 8x plus 1 equal to 0 and 16 into 1 by 4 x square minus uh, 1 by 4 square into 8 uh, minus 8 into 1 by 4 plus 1 equal to 0. Now we have here 16 into 1 by 16 right 1 by 4 is 1 by 16 minus 4 1s are 4 2s are 2 plus 1 equal to 0. We can cut these two. We will have 1 minus 2 plus 1 equal to 0. And this will sum up to 0 equal to 0. So, our answer is correct. So, this is true. Of, if it is true for 1, x is equal to 1 by 4. Then it is true for another value that is x is equal to 1 by 4. And not necessary to do for both the values just if you have done once that is sufficient it is understood now we'll go for the next one Fifth one is 100x square minus 20 plus 1 equal to 0. Okay. So, it is 100x square minus 20 plus 1 equal to 0. And if we multiply these two, we will get plus 100x square. And if we add or subtract, we should get the middle term that is 20x. Okay. I have made a mistake here. 20x plus 1 equal to 0. So, if you add or subtract by splitting the middle term, we will get minus 20. We should get minus 20. So, it is 10x and 10x. 10 10s are 100. So, 100x square and minus and minus. So, this is minus 20. 100x square minus 10x minus 10x plus 1 equal to 0. We will group the terms like this and the first group will have 
common factor 10x and it will be 10x minus 1 minus 1 into 10x minus 1 equal to 0. Now 10x minus 1 into 10x minus 1 equal to 0. Therefore 10x minus 1 equal to 0 or 10x minus 1 equal to 0. And we have here 10x is equal to 1 or 10x is equal to 1. x is equal to 1 by 10 or x is equal to 1 by 10. So we have again same numbers x is equal to 1 by 10 and x is equal to 1 by 10. And let us verify whether the answer is correct or wrong by substituting in this that is 100 x square in the place of x square we have to put 1 by 10 whole square minus 20 into 1 by 10 plus 1 equal to 0 right so that is 100 into 1 by 100 minus 10 1s are 10 2s are 2 plus 1 equal to 0 100 and 100 will get cancelled and we have 1 minus 2 plus 1 equal to 0 so 1 0 equal to 0 so our answer is correct and we know that the both the roots are same that is 1 by 10 and 1 by 10 so not necessary to do twice just once if you are doing that is more than sufficient okay we'll go for the second main now what the what the second main has <coughs> solve the So, second main has solve the following problems given in example 1. So, example 1 which is there in the textbook uh, represent the following situations mathematically. First one, John and Jeevanti together have 45 marbles. Both of them lost 5 marbles each and the product of the number of marbles they now have is 124. We would like to find out of how many marbles they had to start with. So this is what the question given for us. And we need to find out uh, the roots of this uh, problem or the numerical given for us. And it is already given that it is example 1. So it is solved in the textbook. And they have solved that x square minus 45x plus 324 equal to 0. This is what we have in the textbook and uh, not necessary uh, for me to solve again. You can just check it out. Uh, complete detail has been done in the textbook and if you multiply these two, we will have 324x square we will get and we have to split the middle term that is uh, 45x. If we have to split the middle term then it will be 36x minus 9x. So these are the two uh, terms. So we, if we substitute that x square minus 36x minus 9x plus 324 equal to 0. And if it is difficult for you people, then you can find the factors, prime factors of 324. So that is 2, 162 are, then 2, 81 are, 327 are, and then 3, 9 are, 3, 3 are. So now what we are supposed to find out, we have to find out this, that is 36 and 9, by a trial and error of multiplying these numbers. So, if we multiply these 2 and 2 and it will be, uh, this is um, 9, 3, 3 is of 9 and then this is 9 and 9, 4 is 9 into 4, 36 into 9 will be 324 and 36 plus 9 is 45 but this is minus 45. Therefore, what we are supposed to do, we have to take minus 36 and minus 9. That's it, right? So, uh, we can find out like this uh, the factors that will be easy for us. 
and uh, we group the terms now the first term uh, first group in that x is the common term so if we take out x x minus 36 minus and in this second third group 9 is common x minus 36 equal to 0 so x minus 9 equal to 0 or x minus 36 equal to 0 so x is equal to 9 or x is equal to 36 so these are the two roots now we have to find out whether the answer is correct or wrong by verifying it uh, by substituting them in the given quadratic equation so that will be this is plus here so x square minus 45 x plus 324 equal to 0 let us take this x value and substitute 9 square minus 45 into 9 plus 324 equal to 0 now this is 81 minus if you multiply these two we get 405 plus 324 equal to 0 and if we simplify this we will get uh, if I will add these two we will get 405 minus 405 equal to 0 so 0 equal to 0 so our answer is correct x is equal to 9 now we will try for the other one whether it is correct or wrong the second one 36 so x square minus 45x plus 324 equal to 0. Now 36 square minus 45 into 36 plus 324 equal to 0. Now 36 square is nothing but 1296 minus if you multiply these two we get 1620 plus 324 equal to 0. And if we add these two, we will get 1620 and then this will be minus 1620 is equal to 0. So, 0 equal to 0. And our answer that is x is equal to 9 or x is equal to 36 is the correct answer. Okay. We will go for the second one now. Yes, second one, a cottage industry produces a certain number of toys in a day. The cost of production of each toy in rupees was found to be 55 minus the number of toys produced in a day. On a particular day, the toy cost of production was rupees 750. We would like to find out the number of toys produced on that day. Okay, this is what we have. And the equation quadratic equation for this already done in the textbook so let me write not uh, solve it because it's very clearly mentioned in the textbook so i'll just start with the equation given for us x square minus 55 x plus 750 equal to 0 this is what we get if you solve it and now we have to multiply these two that is we get 750 x square right and now this is um, if we uh, split the middle term that is we have to get minus 55 and if we do the factors of it 750 so 2 3 75 is are and this is 3 125 is are and this is 5 20 Pfizer and 5 Pfizer. Okay, now what? Uh, we have to find out the factors of 750. Uh, we are having here 2 
2 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 5, right? And uh, if we add or subtract, we should get minus uh, 55x. So, this will be equal to 6 into 5, right? And this is 25. So, this will be 30 into 25. So, it is 30 into 25 is the uh, are the factors of 750 that we are supposed to use. But it is minus 30 and minus 25. If you add it, 30 minus 30 and minus 25, we will get 55. Fine. So, let us uh, substitute that here. We will get x square minus 30 minus 25x plus 750 equal to 0. Now, if we group the terms, uh, in the first group x is common, so x minus 30 and in the second group 25 is common, so x minus 30 and x minus 30 is common in the whole uh, this one LHS side, so it will be x minus 25 left out. Then x minus 25 equal to 0 or x minus 30 equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 25 or x is equal to 30. So, these are the two values of x. And if we substitute them and find out whether we have got correct answer or not, let us try that. So, we have, let me first try with minus, uh, sorry, plus 25. So, x square, uh -oh. x square minus 55x plus 750 equal to 0. So, x square, x square, oh, uh, sorry, it is, uh, we have to take x value as 25. So, 25 square minus 25 into 55 plus 750 equal to 0. Now, 25 square is nothing but 625. And if you multiply 25 and 55, we will get 1375 plus 750 equal to 0. And if we add these two, get 1375 minus 1375 equal to 0. So, 0 equal to 0 is our uh, answer is correct. Now, we will go for x is equal to 30. <coughs> In the place of uh, this one, if we substitute x square minus 55x plus 750 equal to 0. So, this will be 30 square minus 55 into 30 plus 750 equal to 0. Now, 30 square is nothing but 900 and this 20, 55 into 30 is 1650 plus 750 equal to 0. 750 plus 900 is 1650 minus 1650 equal to 0. So 0 equal to 0. Our answers are correct. X is equal to 25 and X is equal to 30. That is correct. We will go for third main. Here the first one, uh, third main. Find two numbers whose sum is 27 and product is 182. Okay. We will do that. Let uh, the numbers be X and Y. So, we will start. Let the numbers be x and y. Okay. And what they have given? They have given like this for us. x plus y is equal to 27. So, sum is 27. And product and x, y is equal to 182. Now, in the place of uh, this one, this x will be equal to 27 minus y. In the place of uh, uh, x, we substitute x is equal to 27 minus 5. So, if we substitute that, we will get 27 minus y into y is equal to 182. And we have to multiply 27 minus y with y, we will get 
27y minus y square is equal to 182. And uh, if we shift uh, to the right side, we'll get plus y square minus 27y um, plus 182 equal to 0. So this is what we have, quadratic equation. And we need to find out the two numbers. So let us find out the two numbers. And uh, we have here x square minus, sorry, y square y square minus 27y plus 182 equal to 0 and uh, 182 into y square it is 182 y square plus if we uh, split the middle term it will be minus 14y minus 13y that will be equal to minus 27y minus 14y minus 13y plus 182 equal to 0 and group this we get y y is common term y minus 14 minus 13 is common so y minus 14 equal to 0 so y minus 13 equal to 0 or y minus 14 equal to 0 and y is equal to 13 or y is equal to 14 now, this is if y is 13, then what is x? If y is 14, then what is x? So, we need to find out that. Let us find out that. What we are supposed to do? We have to substitute y is equal to 13 and y is equal to 14 in the uh, equation. So, if y is equal to 13, then what happens? It is... Um, we have x plus y sum is equal to 27. So, x plus 13 is equal to 27. x is equal to 27 minus 13. x is equal to 14. So, if y is 13, if one number is 13, the other number is 14. And if x plus y is equal to 27 and if y is equal to 14, Uh, when uh, y is equal to uh, sorry y is equal to 14 then what happens so it is uh, x plus here is equal to 27 x is equal to 27 minus 14 x is equal to 30 that's it so if y is equal to 13 then x will be equal to 14 if y is 14 then x is equal to 30 okay so, and it is verified actually x plus y is equal to 27. If you substitute the values, it is just verified. We will go for the next one. Uh, the next one is find the consecutive positive integers sum of whose squares is 365. Okay. Uh, consecutive positive integers. Consecutive positive integers means the continuous numbers. Like if one number is 2, the next number is 3. So, these two, 2 and 3 are consecutive numbers. That's it. So, let us find out. <coughs> let uh, what I can take, uh, let the number be, uh, let x and x plus 1 be the consecutive positive integers. Now, what they have given? Sum of whose squares is 365. So, what is it? x square plus x plus 1 whole square is equal to 365. And uh, this will be x square plus x plus 1 whole square is in the form of a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So, let us apply this in the given equation will get x square plus 2 into x into 1 plus 1 square equal to 365. Now x plus x square plus x square is 2x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 365. 
and we'll shift this uh, uh, we'll shift 365 to the left side so it will be 2x square plus 2x plus 1 minus 365 equal to 0 and it will be <coughs> uh, 2x square plus 2x minus if we subtract this we get 364 equal to 0. Let us simplify this by dividing it, the whole thing by 2 because we have even numbers in all the three terms. It will be x square plus x minus 182 equal to 0. Now, if we add or subtract, we should get plus x and if we multiply, we will get 182. So, 182 x square, sorry, it is minus 182 x square and it will be 14 x and 13 x, right? And it is, uh, uh, we have, this will be for plus 14 and this is minus because this is plus x. Now, x square plus 14 x minus 13 x minus 182 equal to 0. If we group the terms, we get x as common, x plus 14 and minus 13 is common, x plus 14 equal to 0. This is x minus 13 into x plus 14 equal to 0. Therefore, we have here x minus 13 equal to 0 or x plus 14 equal to 0. So, x will be equal to 13 or x is equal to 14. Now, we will go for the verification part and we will find out whether our answers are right or wrong. So, we will take this x square, what we have, x is equal to 13 and x is equal to minus 14, minus 14. So, we will find out whether our answers are correct or wrong. x square, what we have, x square plus x plus 1 whole square equal to 365, what we got. Uh, means this is what we got first equation and we will substitute 13 13 square plus 13 plus 1 whole square is equal to 365 13 square is 169 and this will be 14 13 plus 1 is 14 14 square is 196 equal to 365 so 365 equal to 365 so our answer is correct now we will go for minus 14 and we will try minus 14 <coughs> we have x minus uh, x square plus x plus 1 whole square equal to 365 and x is equal to minus 14 so let us substitute that minus 14 whole square plus minus 14 plus 1 whole square equal to 365 minus 14 whole square is 196 plus 196 then plus this is minus 13 whole square is equal to 365 196 plus minus 13 whole square is plus 169 equal to 365 so 365 equal to 365 so our answers are correct right now we'll go for the next one that is uh, the fifth one Uh, altitude of a right angle triangle is 7 centimeters less than its base. If the hypotenuse is 13 centimeters, find the other two sides. Okay. So, what we have here? We have a right angle triangle. Let me draw here right angle triangle. And what they have given? They have given the altitude. Let me take altitude as H. And then let me name the triangle ABC. Wherein angle B is 90 degree. And what they have given is 
uh, the altitude of right angle triangle is 7 cm less than its base. So let me take base as B. So altitude will be equal to B minus 7 centimeters. Is it not? Altitude is B minus 7 centimeters. And uh, we need to find out uh, the if the hypotenuse is 13 centimeters, hypotenuse is 13 centimeters. We need to find the other two sides, the base and the altitude. Fine. We know Pythagoras theorem. That is the hypotenuse square is equal to square on the other two sides. That is AB square plus BC square. Now AC square is nothing but 13 square equal to AB square is nothing but B minus 7 whole square plus BC square is B square. Now, 13 square is nothing but 169 is equal to B minus 7 whole square. This is in the form of A minus B whole square. And A minus B whole square is A square minus 2AB plus B square. So, this is the identity we have. If we take that apply to B minus 7 whole square, we will get B square minus 14A plus 49 plus b square right so let me write down this b minus 7 whole square it will be b square minus 2 into b into 7 plus 7 square so b square minus 7 twos are 14 b plus 7 square is 49 so that's what i have written okay and now what we are supposed to do we will simplify this. We have here, uh, we will shift 169 to this side. So, it will be B square minus, uh, no, what we have? B square and plus B square. So, it will be 2B square. 2B square minus 14B, B, not A, B, plus 49 minus 169 equal to 0. And it will be 2B square minus, uh, this is 14B, uh, 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 so minus 14B and if we subtract these two, we will get minus 120 equal to 0. Let us simplify this by... Uh, no, by multiplying it or dividing it by 2. So, it will be b square minus 7b minus 60 equal to 0. Okay, if we have to understand it in a proper way, it will be if I divide this with the 2, we will get what we get. Um, we have 2b square minus 14b minus 120 equal to 0. If we divide this with 2, so we will get b square 2 1s are 2 7s are minus 7b minus 2 1s are 2 60s are 60 equal to 0. This is what we get. And now we have to uh, find out the uh, terms for this uh, minus 7b. That is splitting the middle term and find out the factors of it. So that we can find out the roots of this quadratic equation. And it will be equal to, um, if we multiply this, we will get minus 60 b square. And if we add or subtract, we should get 7. So it is 12 Pfizer, 12b and 5b. And this is a minus 7. So bigger number minus will be for 12 plus b b square minus 12b plus 5b minus 60 equal to 0. And now grouping the terms, b is common. So if I take out b, b minus 12 is left out here plus 5, then b minus 12. Therefore, b plus 5 equal to 0 or b minus 12 equal to 0, right? And now that will be 
b therefore b is equal to minus 5 or b is equal to 12 so the base base is minus 5 centimeters or 12 centimeters now we cannot take minus 5 because length cannot be negative so this is b is equal to minus 5 is ruled out length cannot be equal to negative value therefore the base is 12 centimeters right so the base is 12 centimeters then what about the altitude so altitude is b minus 7 so altitude h is equal to b minus 7 so that is 12 minus 7 so that is 5 centimeters h is equal to 5 centimeters and are we correct or not let us check it out so what we have we have the equation 13 square is equal to h square plus a square, a square uh, sorry b square right the base is b square now 13 square is 169 is equal to h is 5 square plus b is 12 square now 169 is equal to 25 plus 144 so if we add these two we'll get 169 so 169 is equal to 169 and our answer is correct okay we'll go for the next one that is sixth one and find out what we are supposed to find out in this sixth one a cottage industry produces a certain number of pottery articles in a day it was observed on a particular day that the cost of production of each article in rupees was three more than twice the number of articles produced on that day if the total cost of production on that day was rupees 90 find number of articles produced and cost of each article so what they have given the cottage industry produces certain number of pottery articles in a day it was observed on a particular day that the cost of production of each article was three times than the twice the number of articles produced on that day. It will be how to write down these situations and the conditions in the algebraic way and then it will be easy for us to find out the quadratic equation and solve it. Okay, so what we can take? Let uh, the number of uh, articles produced be equal to x, right? Let the number of articles produced be equal to x okay therefore the cost of production of each article the cost of production of each article is how much is equal to 3 plus 2x what they have given 3 more than twice the number of articles produced 3 more so 3 plus more than twice the number of articles number of articles is x so twice the number 2x this is what uh, we can uh, make out from it and then it will become easy for us now the next one the total the total cost of production on that day on a particular day what was the thing they have given for us the total cost of production on that day that particular day what they have given that is equal to 90 they have given 90 rupees so rupees 90 and that therefore the cost of total articles therefore the cost of total articles that is equal to total articles is how much how much it is x into sorry x into 2x x into 3 plus 2x that is equal to 90 degrees this is what we can make the relation out of the information given for us now we will take that equation x into 3 plus 2x is equal to 90 
and we will multiply this. We will get 3x plus 2x square equal to 90. Let us reframe it so that it becomes easy for us. So it is a square as first term. So it will be 2x square plus 3x and we will shift this 90 from right hand side to left hand side. So it will become minus 90 equal to 0. And now we multiply these two, we will get minus 180x square. This is what we get. And we need to find out the factors of this 180x square so that uh, we can split the middle term 3x. Right. So it will be 3x minus 90. 180 if we uh, you want to find out this factors then you can 290 is a 245 is a 59 is a 3 3 is a so we have 2 into 2 into 5 into 3 into 3 and if we multiply 5 into 3 15 this is 4 3 is a 12 15 and 12 are the factors so we'll do that substitute those things here it is 15x and 12x now we need to find out which will have plus and which will have minus it is plus 3 so 15 will have plus and 12 will have minus because 15 is bigger number than 12 so if you multiply we'll get minus 180x square let us substitute 15x square to uh, split this middle term 3x minus 12x minus 90 equal to 0. We will group the terms and in the first group the common factor is x so 2x plus 15 is left out and in the second group the common factor is 6 so we will have x uh, 6 into 2x minus 15 sorry plus 15 equal to 0. Now 2x 2x plus 15 into x minus 6 equal to 0. 2x is equal to minus 15 or x is equal to 6. So x is equal to minus 15 by 2 or x is equal to 6. We got this x is equal to minus 15 by 2 or x is equal to 6. Now what is x? We will go back to that x is equal to minus 15 by 2 and x is equal to 6. We will go back what is x? x is let the number of articles produced is x and number of articles produced will not be equal to negative value. So this is ruled out. Since Production cannot be negative value. Minus 15 by 2. 15 by 2 articles are minus 15 by 2 articles are produced not possible. So x is equal to 6 is the correct answer. And let us find out whether it is correct or not. So the cost of cost of each article is equal to 3 plus 2x. So 3 plus 2 into 6. So 3 plus 12 that is 15 rupees 15 each article is 6 15 and whether it is correct or not let us check that it is what we have the relation 3 plus 2x uh, sorry x into 3 plus 2x is equal to 90 right so let us take that x into uh, we have 3 plus 2x equal to 90. So x is 15. 3 plus 2 into 15 is equal to 90. So 15 into 3 plus 15 twos are 30 is equal to. Oh no, no, sorry, this is. So what they are supposed to uh, find out? They are supposed to find, find the number of articles produced and the cost of each article. So, number cost, uh, this is 
articles produced is six and uh, each article costs 15 rupees 15 6 are 90 so our answer is correct thank you for watching